Hey friends, we're going to do another great science activity today. We're going to learn about the science behind spinning tops. So what do you think makes a top spin? Well, I can tell you. It's the forces that act upon it. It's your fingers spinning it, and it's also gravity, which you can't see, and friction. So our experiment today, you're going to make some tops, and then I have some great questions for you afterwards, okay? Okay friends, so this project you'll need markers, a piece of cardboard, some scissors, some tape, and two toothpicks. Now let's get started making our tops. Okay friends, so I've made my two tops. I've cut out circles out of cardboard and I colored them so we can see. Now let's see how this one spins. Whoa, look at that one go. Now we'll try the littler one and see if that one spins a little bit better. Okay, so we use our fingers to set it and spin it. And then the cool thing that we learn here is the law of conservation. It says any thing that is spinning will keep spinning until something else acts upon it, like gravity or friction. This top is getting friction from the table that it's spinning on. Isn't that cool? So it could spin forever and ever and ever if it didn't have anything that caused friction or it didn't have gravity pulling on it. Hi friends, now that we've done our experiment, I want you to think about the following questions. What do you notice about how your spinning top works? Does the size of the top make a difference, the bigger one or the smaller one? The pattern, how does it change when you make different patterns on different tops? What do you think makes the top fall over? What makes it stop spinning? And when the toothpick that you used to make the point when it gets blunt, does that change the way the top works? I want you to think about those as you play with your top today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.